second half. Okay, so maybe I'll continue. So, so again, as I said, our goal is to. So we have we have this we have m tilt. So you know, sort of continuing, you know, we have m tilde. I don't know. I guess I'll temporarily call it, give this a name. N tilde to pi to n, and so I want to let m tilde of x lambda be the be the inverse image of x lambda. So now, so now, so by the way, what I talked about before with this generalized spin resolution is in, is in all types, I and mean, that's not this is this is not just in Type A. This this is actually in all works in all types, but I mean, you know, some of what I'm doing now could be extended to other types too. I I believe, but it, but as far as you know, the combinatorics isn't is worked out yet. So I'm going to just be in Type A for the rest of this talk. You know, so or most of the rest of this talk. And so I want to let m tilde of x lambda be the inverse image of x lambda, and we want to define describe our orbit paving. Of m tilde. But I, I, I think I guess from the toric picture, you can sort of believe why you might need an orbit paving because you know you sort of are naturally putting in this variety, which is CR mod a finite group. So you may, you know, you may end up needing something like that. So let me just tell you what the situation is here. So, so let me make a definition here. So a tableau sigma is divisible by D if the entries of sigma appear in blocks, in horizontal blocks of D consecutive integers. And we would say D divides sigma through as well. So for, for example, I could have a tableau that looks something like this. So this is a tableau which is divisible by two because every because you can see it's divided up into blocks of two of, of pairs of integers which are you know consecutive. So this tableau is divisible by two, but if I you know if I interchange the the two and the three, it won't be divisible by two anymore because I'm, I've I've gotten rid of the consecutive integer condition. So I, I hope it's is it clear what I mean by divisible divisible? This is divisible by two. And so then, so then we could call let let d sigma be the largest be the largest d dividing sigma because obviously if a tableau is divisible by four, it's divisible by two as well. So we may as well talk about the the largest divisor of the tableau. And that for this to happen, of course, all the parts. A bell, does it have to be increasing consecutive or could it be decreasing consecutive? Increasing. Okay. Sorry, I should have said that. At least, at least it, well, see, in our, in, 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 for me, I mean, one could make them decreasing, I guess, but, but I'm only interested in row strict tableau anyway. So, okay. so they're going to be, I'm only concerned about them being increasing, but I, I suppose you could make them decreasing as well. So, but, th but for this to exist, all parts, of lambda, of course, must then be your five six three four isn't real strict. Oh no, yeah, I guess you're right. This isn't real strict. Okay, well, I, anyway, I, I do want them to be increasing. You're right, though. You're right. I mean, this isn't a real strict one. 
Well, I guess I was only thinking of them being increasing. Let me put it that way. There's no reason they would have to be actually all increasing. So maybe we'll cross that off. So, so then let me, so, so then here's the theorem. And then this is, this is with Martha Precup and Amber Russell. So just try, this is unfortunately off the page here, but so, so we have just to, this notation, you know, we have, I'll just write it down here again. So we have M tilde going down to eta with N tilde here. Okay, so that's the map eta. And so then let's, so let, let C sigma be, you know, in N tilde of X lambda be the cell of the paving corresponding to to the row strict tableau then eta inverse of c sigma it's a disjoint union of, I'll call them C tilde sigma one, C tilde sigma B sigma, where each C tilde of sigma I is isomorphic to CR mod this finite abelian group. And moreover, Z transitively permutes and so what you know how do, how would one prove something like this so the proof so the proof I mean you have to look at the way the paving of the Springer fiber is constructed. So you have to look at the construction of the paving of, of N tilde of X lambda. And then basically you have to reduce the, reduce the theorem because basically you're, after all, you're starting off with the paving of, of n tilde of x lambda. So you're starting off with that, and then you, you reduce the theorem to a result about the map of toric varieties v to v add. Well, so you, so you actually, and then you can actually just, you can work in the land of toric varieties, and you actually, you do want to bring in that variety v tilde here as well, maybe I'll put V tilde here just for the, that occurs in the proof. So, but maybe I won't say anything more about that, but, but it, ultimately it boils down, you can imagine that it could be something like this because it ultimately boils down to a result about toric varieties, but maybe I won't say anything else about that right now. But let me, let me, uh, well, a little bit more. So using this one, so I, I one can describe the Poincaré polynomial PT of M tilde lambda. And let me, so to get the nicest such description, it's, we want to bring in the center. So bring in the center. So, so let's, so I'll bring in, So the center of G is just isomorphic to Zn here. And so let's let Z hat be the characters of Z. I'll call the, the characters of Zn are just chi zero up to chi n minus one. 
So I'm gonna, if I think of Zn as being the nth roots of unity, then the characters are these where chi i of a, if a is a root of unity, I just take a and raise it to the ith power. And so then because zx and everything, zx, I can decompose the cohomology of m tilde of x lambda as a direct sum of its chi j isotypic components. And I guess I should take cohomology with, with complex coefficients here. So let me do that without comment. And then, so what I can do is I can, so, so let, let P T chi of J of M tilde of X lambda be the dimension of the, of the chi J isotypic component of H2I of M tilde of X lambda times T to the I. And so then, then I just have the PT of M tilde X lambda is just the sum as J goes from goes from zero to n minus one of p of t chi j of n tilde of x lambda. And so then the theorem is that, which is again from this is that is in is that let e in and by the way, this theorem here is actually quite elementary. It, it's just an el very, it's an elementary consequence of this previous stuff. It's not, it's, it's, it's you know, but, and I'll let, I'll let D be equal to N over the GCD of N E. So then the Poincaré polynomial of T, the chi e isotypic component of this Poincare polynomial. It actually just, it's actually, it's a power of t, just some power here, times the Poincare polynomial of just the, the, the Springer fiber, where I take the partition and I divide it by d. And this power here, the, the exponent is actually g minus one times the dimension of b of x, b of x of lambda over b. So what's happening here is that, is that in, this, in this cohomology, you're actually seeing these cohomology of these smaller Springer fibers sitting as the isotypic components in there. And so I'm out of time, but the, the, the point is that, maybe not the point, but In type A, we proved earlier that this, that we know that this variety N tilde, the map N tilde to N is closely connected to Lustig's generalized Springer correspondence. And if you make that connection, this result about this Poincaré polynomial is, connect, is actually sort of in the literature in a way. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's known to experts, I guess, that because you can compute some of these Poincaré polynomials via an algorithm called the lustig shoji algorithm. And, it, and it's known that the, the, the part of the generalized Springer correspondence that this part is picking up does look like, you know, representations of smaller symmetric groups, you know, where S of symmetric groups of size N over D. So in a sense, this is, this is, this, if you make the connection of this variety with the 
generalized Springer correspondence, then this result here could be deduced from this generalized Springer correspondence fact. But from another point of view, this, this, this result doesn't rely at all on the generalized Springer correspondence. And it's kind of a, a very geometric manifestation of this fact that is sort of in Lustig's work in this much more indirect way in this example. So, but I think I'm out of time. So maybe I will just stop here. So thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Let's thank the speaker.